Hey friends, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Icon AG60 frames. Let's go ahead and get to it. So what I'll be talking about in my review today is just giving you guys an overview of the product. I'll go through what I like about it, what I don't like about it, uh, give you my final impressions, and then I'll also talk about who I really think this would be the best for. I've been riding the AG60 frames since October. I bought them with my own money because uh, I was really interested in them. They are a flat frame. They have uh, rockerable bushings for the middle wheels and that can either make them all flat or give you a little bit of a banana rocker. I think it's like a one mil difference. Uh, the wheels that you're supposed to ride in these is 60 millimeter or uh, smaller diameter and then a round profile and that's just so you don't drag the uh, frame on the ground. Um, they come in two different versions. There is a version that is the all white, which is the glass infused nylon. And then there's a black version, which is a carbon fiber uh, infused nylon. Let's go ahead and talk about the things that I like about these frames. Um, so first thing to note is that they are very rigid and solid and fast. Uh, so they basically don't move under my weight. They slide very well on ledges, rails. I don't have to wax anything except coping. Um, so those are all uh, pluses in my book. Another thing that I like is just the colored insert that comes with these. I don't know if you can see that, but I used a Sharpie and actually changed mine to blue. I definitely like the customizability with that. Um, you know, so one thing to note, flat frames, you know, I rode anti-rocker wheels for about 15 years and I still ride them, but I've been on the lookout for a frame that feels like I'm riding anti-rocker, but also allows me to ride flat. And I've tried a few different frames and I would say that, you know, this frame is probably tied uh, for the frame that feels the closest to anti-rocker and the other comparison would be like the wish frames. Um, you know, in general, uh, this H block provides really good wheel protection, uh, as you can see here. And then here's uh, just kind of the bottom view of it. And, you know, I, I barely got wheel bite. Um, you know, there were some instances where I would get it, but it wasn't very common. For the most part, these things performed how they were supposed to do. Uh, Another thing that I liked is just the one-sided axle bolts that makes maintenance on these so much easier than having to use two Allen keys. Uh, I definitely like the rockerable option. I didn't use it, but I like that the option is there for those who do want to use it. Um, you know, again, H-Block provides great lock-in and wheel protection. Uh, one thing that I haven't seen really talked about is uh, on the sides or the bottom of the side walls, the frame actually kind of tapers down and it provides uh, protection to the sides of the wheels. And what I feel like that does is actually helps prevent you from uh, basically like rolling grinds, which can put a lot of stress on the wheels and cause you to core them. So I think that's a really nice thought with these frames as well. Um, yeah, so I think that's almost all the things that I like about them. So let's move on to what I didn't like about these frames. Uh, you know, my first experience with them was basically the setup and putting the wheels in. And it's probably the most common complaint you've heard is that the setup can be really challenging to get the wheels in. I had, you know, similar issue and I've heard it's even worse with the carbon frames. Uh, most likely what happened is that the frames were probably too warm coming out of the molds. And then when they cooled off and set, uh, they shrunk. 
uh, just uh, in the middle. And so you basically have to like pry and force the weight of the wheels in. And, you know, part of the reason that is um, a negative in my book is because, you know, if you're hammering or pounding these wheels in, you know, that can actually damage the bearings or the cores of the wheels. And then you've just like outed yourself you know, some parts just trying to get these things set up. Um, I did note though that once I got the wheels in, rode them for a couple sessions, wheels pop in and out with ease. Um, so that does uh, provide some validity that it's something with the way that they took these out of the molds and how they set up. Um, you know, other issue that I had is once I got these worn in, like, so my first few sessions, I didn't have a single ounce of wheel bite. But as, you know, I got some of these edges of the H-block worn in, uh, I did notice that the wheels were, uh, you know, hitting the ledges a little more. Um, you know, sometimes it was like even skating rails. But it wasn't that bad. You would hear more chirps than anything. It wasn't like hitting the wheel and then it was like bringing you to a dead stop like what I experienced in the past on other frames. So it was more of just a nuisance with the wheels chirping than it was like actual wheel bite where it threw me off. And, you know, I really noticed that when I was doing like top porns, back farves, back torques, um, but it wasn't like a big deal breaker. So, you know, if that's my only complaints about these frames, that's not bad. And that comes from someone who never used to ride flat. So what are my final thoughts on these frames? I think they are a well-built frame. Uh, they give you a very low road height just because of the distance from the axles uh, to the top of the frame. Um, I actually liked riding these with the roller blade blanks because the H-block sits a little lower just to give you that wheel protection uh, between the two middle wheels. So having a sole plate that sits a little wider gives you a really generous angle for when you're doing royales and groove tricks. Um, really great build on these. I couldn't really ride the aluminum 50-50 frames, which is where these started out with sidewalls for that were 3D printed. But I highly recommend these for anybody who, uh, you know, is interested in them. All right, so if you're wondering who is this frame meant for, you know, my thought is that this frame is perfect for someone who is very similar to me, that they've ridden anti rocker, they want to make the jump to flat, and it because of how much wheel protection it gives, it gives a very generous uh, transition um, from anti rocker to flat without truly losing the feeling and having to significantly improve your technique, um, which I think is a huge bonus since, you know, a lot of skaters are, you know, getting older and they need some forgiveness. Um, you know, who else is this frame for? I think it's for, you know, skaters who ride flat frames and are wanting something that offers more forgiveness so they don't have to be as precise when they land. Um, you know, cause that was always my struggle when I tried flat is you would try something, you catch wheel bite, you take a nasty spill and then you just kind of call it a day. Cause you're like, you know what? This isn't fun. So, uh, you know, somebody who wants the flat feeling with a little forgiveness, this is the perfect frame for you. Um, you know, I think that kind of wraps it up. So if you've got any questions or comments, drop me a line. I'm happy to get back to you, let you know my thoughts on it. Or if you've experienced these, let me know what you think. Or if you agree with me, disagree with me, I'd love to hear your feedback or any uh, constructive criticism you have. Uh, thanks all for checking in. We'll catch you next time.